Hey guys, Alex Potash here from Scene Best Web Design. There's a lot of interest for Google+, Google's new social network. However, we've heard a lot of questions from people who are confused as to how to use Google+. I'm really excited to show you some of the basic features and to help you get started using Google+. Let's begin. To start using Google+, you need to sign in. At the moment, Google+, is set to invitation only. In the future, you will be able to visit the website, plus.google.com, and create an account from there. In order to use Google+, you will need a Google account. If you are currently using Gmail, you can use that account for Google+. Let's walk through signing into Google+, for the first time. You probably received an invitation via email. That email would look something like this. When you click on the Learn More About Google link, you're going to come to a page that looks like this. Sign in on this page with your Google username and password. This is the first step to create your Google Plus profile. What you do is enter your first name, then your last name, select your gender, and then add a photo. You can choose a picture from your computer. Okay, now when this comes up, you select which area of the picture you would like to be shown. Then you click Set as Profile Photo. Click Join to continue. The next thing you should do is finish setting up your profile. Click on the Complete Your Profile button. To save time, I will not complete this, but you should enter as much information to your profile as you possibly can so that your friends can find you easily. When you are finished, click on the Continue to My Profile button. Now let's make sure your profile is complete. Click on the Edit Profile button. On your profile page, click on any of the areas where you would like to add or edit information. Example, if you have websites you would like to link to, click the links area and add your links. You can enter in your nickname or update your relationship status. When you are finished with this, click on the done editing button to continue. Now that you've completed your profile, it's time to start connecting with your friends in Google+. The more friends you connect with in Google+, the better your experience will be. I recommend that you send everyone that you know an invitation to Google+. The way to invite or connect with friends is to click on the Google+, homepage button. Once you are on the homepage, you can click on the Invite People to Join Google+, link. In order to connect with someone, all you need to know is their email address you can get this from your email client, whether it is Outlook, or Gmail, or Yahoo, or something else. For example, I have a couple of friends saved in a Yahoo account. Let me show you how easy it is to connect with them. For Yahoo, I click on the Contacts button, and find the two friends that I want to invite. You click on your friend's name. Now this is really important. All you do here is invite is copy the email address and nothing else. When you have copied the address, insert the address into the Google Plus invite box by pasting it and then hit enter. When it turns blue, it means that the person is ready to be sent an invitation. I'm going to do this with one more friend. When you are finished adding your friends into the Google Plus invite box, click the invite button. 
Now your your invites have been sent. When this is done, no. Nope. Just click. Just them. just stop the video. Now your invites have been sent. This next page deals with circles, which are one of the most powerful features of Google+. With circles, you are able to group your contacts. Grouping contacts allows you a greater level of control over who is able to see posts that you make on Google+. I recommend that you choose a circle for everyone that you invite to Google+, after you invite them. You can always choose who is in which circle later on, but doing this right away helps streamline the workflow. To assign a contact to a circle, hover your clicker over the Add to Circles button and place a check mark over the circle or circles you would like them to belong to. Both of these contacts are my friends, so I am going to click on, the, click on Friends and add them to my friends circle. When finished, I am going to click Done. Now you can check to make sure that your contacts have been added by clicking on the Circles button located up here. To see who is in any of your circles, click on the circle you wish to view. We can see that both of my friends have been listed in the friends circle just as I had listed them. So I am going to click cancel and go back to the Google Plus homepage. Once you get a good number of friends and family on Google Plus, the system becomes a lot more interesting. I already have a good account created, so I'm going to switch over to that one. Here we are on my account. In addition to inviting friends, there's another great way to connect with people on Google Plus based on your interests. In order for Google Plus to know what your interests are, click on Sparks from the Google homepage. Sparks is where you search for topics of interest and add them to your account. Get started by either browsing the category suggested or type your interest into the search box. For example, I really like music, so I am going to type music into the search box. As you can see, there are a lot of interests related to music, so pick one, the one that most interests you. Once you have chosen, click on the Add Interest button to list it under Sparks. Be as thorough as possible when listing your interests as these will help connect you with other Google Plus users with interests similar to your own. A good reason to fill out your interests in Sparks is Google Plus will suggest new friends for you based on those interests. From time to time, click on the Circles button and then click on the Find an Invite button. Any suggested Google Plus users will be shown and you can drag them into the circle you wish to put them in. Currently, I do not have any suggestions, but if I did, then they would appear here. Now we are going to talk about streams. Streams allow you to view content from any one of your circles. This makes it easy for you to keep track of what your family is doing all in one place without getting their updates mixed in with friends and acquaintances. For example, if I click on my friends stream, I see only posts by my friends and no one else. Now when I click on my acquaintances stream, I can keep track of what they are doing. Now that you know about the basics of Google+, we can get to the fun stuff. Let's talk about viewing content and interacting with content that other people are sharing. What I'm going to do is go through and read some of the posts made by my acquaintances. For example, here's a post from Pete about a cheat sheet including hotkeys for Google+. Because I like this post so much, I'm going to do three things. First, I'm going to click the plus one button. You can plus one any post or comment that you like to give it more visibility. Second, I'm going to post a comment thanking Pete for his helpful contribution. Finally, I'm going to click share in order to share this with people in my circles who might not know Pete. Whenever you post or share on Google+, you have an opportunity to control which of your circles can see that content. 
For example, this post by Andre could be interesting to my acquaintances, but probably not my family. So when I share it, I am going to select only the circles that would be interested. Sharing pictures on Google Plus is just as easy as making posts. Right now, I'm going to upload a picture. This is a picture of the 15 page script I wrote for this tutorial. I'm going to click on the select photos from your computer button and search for the picture in my files. It's taking a bit to load. Once it's finally loading, you can either add a caption, rotate it, or just trash it. Next, I'm going to click the album name box and type in Google Plus Help Tutorial. Now I'm going to click on the Create Album button. And now I'm going to choose who I'm going to share it with. There it is, the 15 page script for this tutorial. So that's about it. By now you should know how to sign up, log in, invite your friends, edit your profile, manage your circles, select your interests and in sparks, find suggested friends, view posts and streams, interact with other Google Plus users, and post and share your own content and photos. I really hope you liked my video. If you did, please connect with me on Google+. My profile link and email address is on the screen now, so feel free to invite me. See you guys next week.